William Vanderblumen. B. The Unicorn. 12 Data-Driven Habits That Separate the Best Leaders from the Rest Picture this. A robot and a human walk into a job interview. The robot, with its impeccable programming, flawlessly calculates complex algorithms and data in mere seconds. The human, on the other hand, shares experiences of teamwork, understanding and genuine connections made over coffee chats and shared projects. By the end of the interview, it's the human who receives the handshake and the job offer. Even in a world where technology is king, the real rulers are those with top-notch, soft skills. These skills are your ticket to standing out in a crowded and diverse workforce. These are the skills that make you the rare unicorn everyone seeks. William Vanderblumen, a talent-spotting guru, has been on the hunt for these unicorns throughout his career. He's interviewed over 30,000 candidates and identified a set of 12 teachable soft skills possessed by the rarest of them. And with this blink as your guide, these exceptional skills are within your grasp. You'll unpack six of the 12 pivotal skills that will help you become one of those standout, magnetic individuals everyone admires. So the question now is, do you want to be a unicorn? If so, your journey starts here. Be quick. Let's get real. You're not going to get anywhere by playing it safe and taking your sweet time. Take it from Blake Mykoski, a guy who doesn't just sit around waiting for the stars to align. He's the mastermind behind Easy Laundry, Mykoski Media, and Tom's Shoes. And he doesn't waste time. He's the kind of person who jumps at opportunities, not someone who's content just lounging around on past successes. You might think being cautious is smart, but the real winners in this game are those who act fast. They don't just glance at opportunities, they charge right through the door. But their speed isn't about saying yes to everything on impulse. It's about the ability to make quick, decisive calls, whether that means jumping on board or turning things down. They understand that slow means lost revenue and missed opportunities, and that's what puts them miles ahead. But not everyone's born ready to sprint into action. Your brain is wired to be wary, to dodge risks, and that often means you're stuck overthinking instead of acting. You've probably been there, waiting for that perfect moment that never comes. But here's the kicker. In today's world, dawdling just doesn't cut it. Data doesn't lie. Speed is key. Quick responses lead to success. Just ask the folks at Vanderbloom and Search Group. They'll tell you their fastest responding job candidates often turn out to be their star employees. So, if you're serious about getting ahead, it's time to ditch two major speed bumps. Not being in the loop and being paralysed by fear. First, stay connected. Make sure you're reachable through at least one channel and set up autoresponders when you're off the grid. You need to find that sweet spot of being connected, but not overwhelmed. Now, let's talk fear. Stop chasing perfection. Ask yourself, does every response you make need to be flawless? Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Most choices aren't life-altering and can be changed if needed. Act with confidence, not doubt. Quick decisions lead to swift action. Remember, there are risks to moving fast, but the bold reap the rewards. Don't just tiptoe around. Dive in headfirst. That's the unicorn way. Be adaptable. Ever heard of Ursula Burns? She rose to become the CEO of Xerox, not by following a meticulously laid out career path, but by being open to opportunities and learning on the fly. That's career agility right there. Now, consider this on a bigger scale, companies during the COVID-19 pandemic. Those businesses that quickly changed their operations, pivoted their models, or cooked up new services did a lot better than the ones stuck in the past. It was a matter of adapt or falter. This isn't just about big strategic moves, though. It's about the little things in the day-to-day -day grind. In an agile organization, teams aren't just cogs in a machine. 
They're encouraged to question the old ways, streamline processes, and pitch new ideas. And remember, a diverse team is a breeding ground for agility, offering a kaleidoscope of perspectives from which to tackle problems. Now, let's focus on you. As you age, it's natural for both your body and mind to become less agile. But don't let this deter you. Fight back by constantly learning new things, picking up skills and expanding your interests. Embrace change rather than resisting it. Also, prevent yourself from clinging to your ideas like they're precious gems. Be ready to let them go if your team proposes something better. And keep your eye on the prize, the goals of your organisation. If something moves you forward to your goals, embrace it. If not, drop it. In a nutshell, whether it's at an individual or organisational level, agility is no longer just beneficial. It's essential. In a world where change is the only constant, your ability to adapt swiftly and effectively is your ticket to success. So, are you ready to be agile? Because that's what it takes to win in this ever-changing game. Anticipate the future. Imagine you're leading a crucial meeting and suddenly things go sideways. What do you do? Do you panic? A man we'll call Jeremy H. thinks differently. He found himself at the helm of a Zoom board meeting when an unexpected snag occurred. Both guest speakers were late, but Jeremy, thanks to his foresight and mental readiness for such scenarios, had a plan B up his sleeve. An additional discussion topic. This topic, while not the main event, was engaging enough to keep the board members productively occupied. His clever move provided the much-needed buffer until the speakers made their appearance without any panic or wasted time. That's a testament to the power of anticipation. Anticipation is not about predicting the distant future or having psychic abilities. It's a practical skill, crucial in this rapidly evolving world. And guess what? You can master it. Our brains are naturally attuned to foresee outcomes. However, some people, let's think of them as the anticipators, are a step ahead. They can see just a bit farther down the road, making them invaluable in responding to changes swiftly and effectively. How do you become an anticipator? It starts with learning from history and understanding humanity's repetitive patterns. It involves envisioning various scenarios to adapt flexibly to potential futures and consistently asking what if to prepare for imminent changes. It's about recognising patterns, imagining scenarios and being cognitively flexible. These skills enhance your situational awareness, enabling you to guide your teams with foresight. However, being an anticipator doesn't mean drafting multi-year strategies for your organisation. Given the constant economic, technological and social disruptions, the most effective leaders are those who can see just one or two steps ahead. Those who can glimpse what's just around the corner are the ones who thrive. Embrace anticipation as a skill. It's within your reach, a tool waiting to be honed. And when the next curveball comes your way, you'll be ready, meeting the future with eyes wide open. Know yourself. Lindsay Snyder is the billionaire who heads the iconic West Coast burger chain in and out With a life marked by kidnapping attempts and family tragedies, Snyder harnessed a powerful tool for survival and success, self-awareness. Her keen understanding of her strengths and limitations has not only helped her personally, but also kept in and out true to its roots, evident in its virtually unchanged menu since 1948. You might wonder, what exactly is self-awareness? It's essentially knowing your capabilities, recognising your limitations, and being mindful of what sets you off. It's more than just a personal skill, it's a survival tactic. Think of an ancient hunter who chooses to run instead of foolishly battling a hyena. This self-aware decision to flee rather than fight is an evolutionary advantage to avoid danger. Bringing it back to the present, self-awareness plays a crucial role in your professional and personal growth. It's about positioning yourself effectively to achieve goals and tackle problems with a cool head. In the workplace, self-aware individuals often climb the corporate ladder quickly. They take criticism constructively, 
contribute positively to the company culture, and leverage their strengths. Research backs this up, showing that self-aware people are more creative, happier in relationships, and are effective leaders. Beyond personal gains, self-awareness enhances teamwork. It fosters healthy communication and considerate interactions, creating a work environment where everyone feels valued and empowered. It's a social boon, benefiting not just the individual, but the entire community around them. So, how do you develop this essential skill? Start by practicing humility and patience. Don't assume you know it all. Solicit candid feedback from people you trust, even though it might sting. Recognize your limits, but gently push them to broaden your comfort zone. And finally, play to your strengths and team up with others who complement your weaknesses. Remember, mastering self-awareness is a lifelong quest. It demands patience and bravery. But for those willing to embark on this journey, the rewards are immense. Not just for you, but for everyone in your orbit. Foster curiosity. Let's take a moment and think about curiosity, shall we? You might not realize it, but this simple, often overlooked trait can be your secret weapon, shaping your career and even sparking innovative business ideas. Take Bill Rosenzweig's story, for instance. He was a guy who dabbled in theatre, film and business during his college years, driven by a desire to understand how certain experiences could alter people's perceptions and beliefs. His fascination with how things work, particularly his enchantment with Japanese tea culture, wasn't just a passing phase. It made him fall head over heels for tea and led to a burning question. Why wasn't there a better tea company out there? This sparked the creation of the Republic of Tea, a successful, values-driven enterprise. You see, curiosity is deeply rooted in your nature. It's the backbone of some of the most groundbreaking discoveries and innovations that have propelled humanity forward, be they in science, technology, art or business. Think of the big names, Copernicus, with his mind-bending heliocentric theory, Fleming stumbling upon penicillin, or Rachel Carson delving into the environmental impacts of the man-made pesticide DDT. These were the fruits of unbridled curiosity. And here's a fun fact for you. When your curiosity leads you to new discoveries, your brain gets a hit of dopamine. This not only feels great, but also encourages you to keep being curious, creating a wonderfully positive cycle. Research even shows that curiosity helps you retain new information more effectively. On a deeper, more personal level, curiosity connects you with others, fosters empathy, and can even help ease anxiety. Meanwhile, on the business front, being curious can make you stand out in a sea of candidates. Interviewers see curious people as more than just job seekers there to earn a paycheck. They view them as individuals eager to immerse themselves in the role and the company's culture. Your willingness to ask questions shows that you're someone who will grow and thrive in your role. But staying curious requires effort, especially with the crazy busy life you may lead. You need to be intentional about it. Read broadly, from novels to international news. Remember, you don't know everything. And that's okay. Approach challenges by asking questions first and then proposing solutions. And really listen to understand diverse perspectives. In the grand scheme of things, nurturing curiosity in all facets of life pays off, both professionally and personally. It sparks important conversations and builds on your wisdom. Never underestimate the power of a little curiosity. It might just change the world. Network and connect. Imagine yourself in a world where the right connection can turn your life around. Much like a key unlocking a door to opportunities you never dreamed of. Take the story of Anne Sullivan. She was a young girl with poor eyesight, trapped in a harsh orphanage, but her life takes an incredible turn when an inspector walks in. Anne, seizing her moment, pleads to be sent to the Perkins School for the Blind. And it worked. She got in, soared to the top of her class, and eventually met Helen Keller. That's the power of a single connection, changing not just one, but two lives forever. Think about it. Every successful person you've heard of, they've had that moment. 
a crucial connection. They wove a web of diverse relationships that turned into their social capital, and when the need arose, they tapped into this precious resource. Historically, the upper echelons of society have long helped each other stay atop their privileged perches. Breaking into these circles without family ties was a formidable challenge. However, the digital era, with its online platforms like LinkedIn, has somewhat leveled the playing field. Connections are now more accessible than ever. But here's the catch. Connecting isn't about collecting contacts like baseball cards. It's about human connection. When you build strong relationships with your team, you're not just a leader, you're a confidant. Good connections also make work fun and help you weather the tough times together. To cultivate such connections, get personal. Show genuine interest and understand the people you meet. Knowing people's stories builds rapport and loyalty. Use online networks wisely. Sure, develop your network, but also nurture those connections. And remember, it's not just take, take, take. Give back. Use your influence to open doors for others. Staying connected requires effort, constant and conscious. Life has a way of pulling people apart, but the key to success, both in business and life, is recognizing the value of each person you meet and investing in those relationships. The pivotal point of this blink to Be the Unicorn by William Vanderblomen centers on the fact that being a successful leader today requires a specific set of soft skills that set you apart. Vanderblomen has identified 12 key skills, six of which are the skills we discussed in this blink. The ability to act quickly, to adapt to change, to anticipate the future, as well as knowing yourself, nurturing curiosity, and building connections. Individuals who can master these skills have what it takes to become rare and valuable unicorns that organizations desperately seek. They're the Blake Mykoski, Ursula Burns, Lindsay Snyder, and Bill Rosenzweigs of the world. Flexible, self-aware, forward-thinking leaders who thrive on change. You now hold the blueprint for developing those very same talents within yourself. The question is, how will you leverage these ideas to maximize your potential? Will you commit to overcoming inertia and self-doubt to act swiftly when opportunities arise? Will you lean into curiosity and diverse perspectives? The door to personal and professional growth lies open before you. Embrace the challenge to become the very best version of yourself. In other words, unleash your inner unicorn. Okay, that's it for this blink. But before you go, did you realize you were listening to an AI-powered voice model? We're always looking for ways to evolve our content while bringing you more of the learning you love. And we've been experimenting with AI to do just that. We'd like to know what you think, so please leave us a rating and a quick comment so we can improve your listening experience even more. Thanks, and see you in the next Blink.